So we're going to continue to talk about um, electric potential and uh, electric fields and all kinds of stuff. And I want to look for a second at the following. Suppose this is a metal plate. And this is a metal plate. Now, suppose I take a whole bunch of protons and I stack up a whole bunch of protons on this metal plate. And now, suppose I take a whole bunch of electrons and I take the exact same number of protons as electrons and I don't know if I really did it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 took two more so I'll take two away so I've got 17 protons up here, 17 electrons down here and now I want to know what does the electric field look like in between here? Well you think to yourself, oh my god, it's going to be really, really, really complicated because every single one of these, every single one of these protons is putting out an electric field like that. So they're all putting out these spherically symmetrical electric fields. And then down here, you have these electrons. And these electrons are all putting out these spherically symmetric electric fields. And you think, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. But it actually kind of works out. So if I have a point here, this one he, this this charge here is going to create a little electric field that goes that way. And that electric and this charge here is going to create a slightly bigger electric field that goes this way. This one here is going to create a rather large electric field that goes this way. This one here is going to create an electric field that goes that way. This one here is going to create a little electric field that goes that way. And this one over here is going to create a little electric field that goes that way. And now the same thing down here. This one here is going to create a little electric field that goes this way. This one here is going to create a little electric field that goes this way, a tiny little electric field. And I, we're going to get all these lots and lots and lots of electric fields. But now what we're going to find is that if we add all of those electric fields, if we take all of those electric fields and add them tip to tail, Oh, I kind of didn't draw it exactly the way they wanted to. What we're going to do is when we add them tip to tail, we're going to get an electric field that points straight from one plate to the other. So, so overall, when I add those up together, I'm going to get an electric field that however much this goes to the side, this one goes to the side equal and opposite. However much this one goes to the side, then this one goes to the side equal and opposite. However much this one goes to the side, this one goes to the side equal and opposite. And everything sort of is trending down, and so it's going to be one electric field that points down. Now if I go over here, I'm going to get the same thing. Now these charges here, these are going to have 
really strong electric fields and these are going to have really weak electric fields but everything because we have two parallel plates with equal charges on either side the really really nice simplification is that um, is that the electric field is a constant at all locations and then I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say stay away from the edges. Um, if you want to learn what happens at the edges, then go major in physics in college and you can find that out. Okay, so we're going to stay away from the edges for now. We're going to have these plates go well off the page and we're just sort of in the middle. And so I have this idea that my electric field here, my electric field here is the same as my electric field here, which is the same as my electric field there, which is the same as my electric field there. And so that's going to give us this equation. Um, PE equals ED. where I've got um, basically I have uh, this equation, hang on, let me just find it oh, change in V, I'm sorry, that's what I wanted to say yep, I knew it change in V equals negative ED and then we have PE equals uh, QV, and so we have potential energy equals negative QED. So now if I take um, two plates and I say that there's an electric field of uh, 540 newtons per meter, newtons per coulomb, that's my electric field and I'm going to say that's a distance of three centimeters and I'm going to put an electron in there then my electron is going to shoot from, from one plate my electron doesn't like being up by the protons. It wants to be down with its other electrons. So I'm going to say that there's going to be a voltage of negative 540 newtons per coulomb times 0 0.03 meters. So my voltage is negative 540 times 0 0.03 negative 16.2 volts and so the potential energy of my electron as it goes is going to be negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs times negative 16 oh I'm sorry I totally botched that I'm getting this all backwards 